Hey, it's time to create a simple leaderboard and implement it into our game. As always, we'll use a PlayFab for that. A free online service from Microsoft that allows us to create a simple backend for our game. Make sure to check out other videos in the series where I set it up and explore different features of this service. We will use as an example a simple game which I called Jumping John, where the small innocent character called John tries to reach the highest platform possible. As you can see, our game already counts platforms and I think it's a great idea to send this call to PlayFab leaderboard system. Let's start by creating a leaderboard in our online service. Go to PlayFab dashboard and select game you'd like to work with. In the left sidebar, you'll find leaderboards option. Click it. Then click new leaderboard and rename it. For our purposes, I'll simply call it Platform score. Reset frequency is a variable that determines how often the leaderboard should be wiped off automatically. It can be used for leaderboards like daily best or monthly game seasons. In our case, I'll leave it to manually, which means it won't be resetted unless I select such option. The last one rules how incoming scores will be saved. You can choose to update player score with the last sent value no matter if it's higher or lower. Or you can specify to only update it if the value is better than the current one, useful for high scores and lowest times to beat the level. Last but not least, you can always sum incoming values, which can be helpful to count how many times player has done any particular action. As you might already guessed, in our case, we'll use the maximum option. Go ahead and press save. Here we have our newly created leaderboard, but as you can see, it's empty at the moment. Let's change it. Go to Unity and open script called PlayFab Manager. Here we need to create a new public method called SendLeaderboard. Let's type public void SendLeaderboard and as a parameter pass int score because our function should get a new score from the game manager and send it to leaderboard. Inside this method, we'll call another PlayFab request and side note here, in PlayFab API, leaderboards are also called statistics. So, once again, let's start with a request. var request equals new update player statistics request. Open bracket statistics equals new list statistics update open bracket and finally new statistic update statistic update gets two values statistic name which in our case will be platform score and of course value which will be our score variable then type PlayFab client API dot update player statistics and as a parameters pass request on leaderboard update and on error. Then create a new method that will be called when system successfully sends leaderboard. Type void on leaderboard update update player statistics result result open bracket and type some useful debug information like successful leaderboard send that's it i'll quickly go to my game manager and call send leaderboard method that we have just created now i'll go back to unity press play and test the game a bit to get at least a few points. Whoa! Now look at the console. It shows... Error! Why? That's because we need to allow our game to send scores to leaderboard. Go back to the PlayFab panel, click gear icon, title settings, and finally API features. 
Here, make sure to check Allow Client to Post Player Statistics and save. Now, once again, go back to our game and test it. Look for the console and success! To check out if everything looks fine in the backend, go to the Leaderboards panel in PlayFab dashboard and click on the Leaderboard name. As you can see, here is our best score from the game. Go back to the code and create new function. Type public void get leaderboard. This time we won't pass any parameters. And open bracket. As always, start with a var request equals new leaderboard request. And add all info that we'd like to request. Start with a statistic name, which will equal to platform score in our case. Start position, which will be zero. And max results count, which in our case will be 10. Then call API. Playfab client API dot get leaderboard and pass. Request on leaderboard get and as always on error. Of course, we miss on leaderboard get method, so quickly create it. Void on leaderboard get get leaderboard result result and open brackets. Result has a list called leaderboard that has all info like position, player name and score for each entry. To write it nicely in the console type for each var item in result dot leaderboard. Open bracket and finally debug dot log item dot position plus space plus item dot playfab id plus space plus item dot stat value. That way, for each leaderboard entry, we should get a nice console output that writes down the position, ID and score for each player. Of course, this is just a very simple output, which in fact won't be visible to the user. Be sure to check out the future video all focused about Unity UI system that will teach you how to design and display a simple leaderboard based on this data. Now, save all your changes and go back to the Unity. The last step is to add a simple UI button that will send a request and output our leaderboard. Now it's time to test it out. Run the game and score a bit. After game over, check the console if the score has been sent. Then click our newly created button and voila, here is our leaderboard. To test it even further, I've compiled our game and played it on another computer. Unfortunately, with current implementation, I wasn't able to check the leaderboard, so when I go back to our initial Unity editor and press Get Leaderboard, we can see that another score has been populated. Great! Remember that your game can have multiple leaderboards and it's up to you how you use and display them. And that's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to be notified about any future PlayFab and Unity UI videos. Also, don't forget to like the video if you'd like to see more such tutorials. See you in the next video.